Hey girl, welcome to the Sassy Jones Show. It's me, Sharice Jones, CEO of the one and only Sassy Jones. Come behind the scenes for all things play, family, and fun. And you know, there is absolutely no filter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy today's episode. Good happy morning. So people are always asking what I do with my hair. I'm gonna tell you what I do with my hair. I actually rot it. So I try to rot it during the day so I don't have to sleep on um, the cold wave rods that I've used, but I had to sleep on them last night. So it is about 6 a.m. So I'm taking, um, I've already taken the rods out. When I take the rods out, I get in the shower just so that they can like swell just a little bit. Um, and they don't look like the, you know, the fresh old lady roll list that's been taken out. You know, yeah, yeah. So the shower helps with that. And then I take my rat tail comb. And then um, I separate it before I go in with my pick. So I'm often asked how I care for my blonde. And let me tell you, you, <laughs> blonde is no joke. Your hair will be all over the bathroom counter and everywhere but your scalp with, with this color. I'm telling you, I've been a blonde for six years. It has definitely damaged my natural hair. Ask me if I care. No. I love the color so much. I'll keep it short, I'll keep it cut, and I'll do whatever I need to do to keep it moisturized. Um, but it ain't easy. And I'm a blonde that don't like black roots like this. But see, if I go and get it colored like every five weeks, I won't have no hair, right? Right, if I, every little bit of new growth, if I cover it with blondes, like give the new growth a chance. But um, yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to stretch to like eight weeks. That helps, and then like my wigs and stuff, y'all see me in on social. Um, and follow me on social, Sharice and Jones, and also Shop Sassy Jones. Um, but yeah, you'll see me in wigs. That's just like protective styling. So yeah, found this pick on Amazon. So this is like a, I forget what it's called. Is it infused with like avocado oil or something? But I love the pick because it's not sharp. Even the blades on it are rounded and it doesn't have those, you know, they create a pick and there's the mold in like product creation and it leaves that line. And you can see where like they snap the plastic out because there's that line right there or like the lines right here. This is all like super smooth. So imagine what it does for your hair. Um, I'm gonna try to put the link. I'm gonna try to find it and put the link in the video. But I use this to sort of um, volumize and like pick it up. I must say it's a good hair day. You know, you can tell when it's gonna be a good hair day already. So here's what's in the hair care lineup presently, all right, for the blondes. It's right, so Joico. Love this. I got a whole big old salon size. Color protecting conditioner. It's wet because it just got out of the shower. And listen, just a word about this. So this is some salon care product. I very much still love my like black girl product. Very right. I have such fine hair, even just from not even the blonde, but just hereditarily. Is that a word? Mm -hmm. Such fun here. So I have to be very careful to not weight it down. Like, girl, I can't do the, the all the shea butter and the, and the lock method. It will just be, I, I'll have no light to my hair. It's kind of like, it needs to be cloudy, right? Just light and airy. So my leave-in um, is the JBCO from Shea Moisture. I love this stuff, as you can see. And when I go, when it's wet, and before I actually rot it, it's about this much for my whole head, right? And I'll take it and I'll smooth it. Here, I gotta put this back in because this, this is a poor taunt. But I'll take it and I'll smooth it and that's it. That's my styler, that's my leave-in conditioner, that's my everything. And then after it's rotted, I'll go through the rollers with this dropper from Camille Rose and it's Rejuva, what is it, Rejuva? 
for Juva Drops. Girl, whatever the edges, if they see fit, if they see fit to come back to the front of the altar, then may the Camille Rose Ministry bring them back. So when I use this consistently, I can see them. Yeah, but pray for them. <laughs> and for those of you who want like a thicker, fuller look to your hair, try this. So this is a Veda thickening tonic. Um, I got this as like a free sample, and then you know the free samples, child. That's that's what turn you to a full full one crackhead is the samples. So this I really love. Like if you have short hair or you just want your hair to appear fuller after styling or after blow drying, this is really good. I use this sometimes as a styler. So when my hair is wet before I rot it, um, I'll spray it like a leave-in, right? And then it, it gives your hair. I just spray a little bit, but it gives your hair just a little. Uh, almost like you were using hairspray, you just need to just sit up a little bit, so it'll be like, right? This is good, y'all, try it. I think you might like it, especially like for the twist outs, you want the twist outs to like stand if you need help with that, girl. So I'm using Smashbox as my primer. Before it dries all the way down, I put powder in it because I want powder to be an ingredient for the setting. I'm gonna show you. And I use this as my base. Gross. My nose was running and I had my powder brush and I think I got snot all over my face. Let's try it again. Yep, nose hair is dry. So this is my base. I don't even need much else. Yay, 50% done with face. I use this as my foundation, so it's our concealer palette. Um, I'm, right now I'm not using anything super, super thick or heavy. It's just these two colors. I also had a sparkle party today. So I just want to make sure that the makeup is also camera ready. And by camera ready, I mean like you can't see through it. That's what I mean. So I definitely try to wake up before everybody else in the house. Um, just to make sure I get my things out of the way, my content out of the way, my work out of the way. Um, because as a CEO, my job is to serve, and I find that when I cannot serve, it's because I'm typically behind all my work. So I, um, just trying to be more intentional about waking up super early, getting my stuff out of the way so that I can, um, operate in servanthood. Yeah. And just some tips on time, um, maximization and time management. Every single minute counts. Uh, for me, like I'm the kind of person that before a Zoom call, if the Zoom call was at like two o'clock at 1.59, I'm still working on something. Like for me, every single minute counts to make sure I'm also prepared for that Zoom call ahead of time, but at 1.59, I'm working on something else and then I'll slide into the Zoom call. Um, the other thing is time blocking. So I've arranged my calendar so that in the mornings, I don't accept any meetings because I find that when I start my day and it's, you know, not the things that I want to do, I'm still thinking about the things that I need to do and then I have to push them away. So I want to get all of my things out of the way. So no meetings accepted unless it's like a rare exception before noon. Yeah, before noon. And in the afternoon is for everyone else. Oh, fun fact. ECR sinks, they were actually dressers from Restoration Hardware. Yeah. So the top got removed and we installed the sink, by which made the top drawer in alcohol, but don't nobody need it because we got, what, four of the drawers? Yeah. It's amazing. Wanna see it up close? Design cheat code.
I'm feeling kaleidoscopish today, y'all. Don't be afraid of this palette. Like, this is it's absolutely everything. I'm gonna show you how to use it. You only need your fingers. So this is a glitter, but it dries down to like a real hard like gel. So I'm gonna take Celebration. Pigment don't play. And just dab on the eyelid. Don't spread, just dab. You done with that eye. You done. Step one, done. Clean eyeshadow palettes. Oh, and I'm using my number 28 brush out of the base brush set. Easy. So for the lip, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna combine these two, Maverick and our Crystal Clear Gloss, which has CBD oil in it. So I'm gonna use this as a liner, just a little bit. Okay, so it's nail time. But we got a nice healthy breakfast that I stole from my son, that my husband made. This is really for Jackson, but I swiped it so he gonna have to come downstairs and make himself another thing. So I got some waffles in here, some Lego, Eggo waffles, a little strawberry, and a little grape. All the food groups, I think. And some orange juice. You ready? <laughs> Say hi to Tish. <laughs> We're all done. I do you guys want to see my nails? Are you interested in seeing my nails? Yeah. Mm -mm. Jackson, Do you like start. that? Jackson game start. I couldn't really get a clear answer. See down. But are we Stop clapping. So while I'm getting my pedicure next, my nails are done. I am going to um, get my laptop so I can get some work done. Um, we need to make some color decisions on some suits that we're releasing in the spring, some blazers. And I'm thinking we'll do some bright solids. And I like what I'm seeing, but I want to change the buttons. So it's because it's really all about the details. Like it could be it could be a blazer, it could be a statement necklace, it could be anything, but it's the details is what really makes a difference from one silhouette or from one design to the next. So um, I think I'm going to do that while I'm getting my pedicure. Yay. <laughs> Let's go, guys. So Lex is in my office right now. And I legit thought maybe something was wrong because Lex always got her <laughs> lashes on and she's always really cute. And I just thought maybe she was just a little depressed this week and I didn't say nothing. I didn't bother her much. But what had happened, Lex? So this is intentional. Yes, this is intentional. Okay. We are in boot camp in the back of the warehouse. Oh. I'm wearing camel every day. Okay. I have my whistle. Oh. I'm in the back nonstop. Okay. What does a boot camp look like, actually? Like, what does that mean? We are cleaning up the warehouse. Oh. We are cleaning up processes. Anything that I see out of place, I'm correcting and showing you different ways to make it better. Oh. I'm just, I'm just here for the whistle. I'm just, I'm just here. The warehouse looks clean to me. 
Hey, hey, happy, 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 uh, what's today? Wednesday. So listen, what's going on today? I'm about to get in the elevator to go up to um, the second floor because I got my heels on and I ain't trying to climb all these steps. So come along. Oh, and we got some, a whole chicken in the crock pot. So, ooh, with some red onions. Later on, I'm gonna throw some rice and potatoes up in there too. But yeah, she's gonna be good for dinner. Let's go to work. Bill's got the heat. So the workday is done. Um, I think it's about 5.30. The boys are getting ready for tutoring. Um, they have a tutor that comes to the house twice a week. And um, yeah, we, we were doing Kumon, but now we're doing this. And it seems to be a little bit more catered. Do you like the yeah. tutoring? Hey, yeah. Do you like the tutoring better, or do you want, or do you want to go back to Kumon? I want the tutor. Mm. Why do you like the tutor better? Because she teaches us times, and the the tutor teaches the tutor te um the Kumon teaches like you know first grade stuff. Oh, okay. But we're so great. Okay, well, it's also kind of based on your level, too. Look. <laughs> Look. So I actually just ended up um, cooking the rice on the stove. Ain't nobody got to know. And then once the rice was cooked on the stove, I added it into the crock pot. Yeah. Cheat code, all the way. Then I'm going to take the sauce and put it on the chicken. Mm-hmm. The rice been in there, baby. Been. And good morning. So today is what is today? Today's Thursday. Thursday is kind of like my the it's the day where I can work literally all day. Like, yeah, there's no meeting schedule, there's nothing on the calendar. I'm super crazy. So I look forward to it because whatever projects that I'm working on, I can make leaps and bounds of advances on Thursdays. Um, I'm gonna start the day with taking the boys to their field trip. And then I'm gonna drop my hubby off at the airport. He's going on a guy's trip uh, fishing in Florida. Fun. <laughs> Low key, I'm really excited about having an independent weekend. Yay. All right, so here in store, I had a business colleague that I met at a women's uh, breakfast, and she was so enamored that she decided to come and shop today. So she's here, got a few few cute things, and uh, we're excited. What we got, Keontae? So we have our beautiful Alexa. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Audrey, a must have. A must have. Yeah. And our Nina Costco. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank you. I love you. 
You ready to go? Good morning. So Keon is on his fishing trip. It is me and the boys. So I'm gonna pack their snacks for school. I actually eat lunch at school, but my kids eat snack like a lot of snacks. Like I just can't send three little snacks. Otherwise, I risk picking them up and they're dying. I'm like, did you not eat at school? I know you ate because the lunch account be depleting like faster than a plane crashing. It's like I'm not, I'm not sure what you be doing with the lunch account. Like, and I can see they be going back and back and back and getting snacks and snacks, even at lunch. So we might have to set up some snack boundaries. I'm not sure. I'm, so, I'm just over lost lunch boxes. Like, where do they go? Lost jackets, lost lunch boxes, lost socks. What happened? Do you have any answers? Comment below. If you know what happens to lost lunch boxes, lost socks, lost jackets. And I'm talking about, see, I got a van as a mother. I'm talking about North Faces. You understand? Like, these are not just, and you just don't come home with them. Make it make sense. I, Okay. Or if I spent all this time packing the snacks, right, and then you come home with uneaten snacks, right? Or you're trading snacks with other children in other households. I don't know where those children's snacks have been. Do you understand? So these are just my, I digress. Or if the snack, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm gonna roll. Or if the snacks are damaged in some way, right? I got a whole perfectly good pack of Doritos that look like somebody sat on them or stomped them out. This, it's disintegrated. These are, it's Dorito dust at this point. Okay, so this is perfectly good, 10 cents, whatever it costs. <laughs> that has just, you know, by the way, I should make them eat the Dorito best. I should have. And another thing, okay, it's like, yeah. Listen, we do well for ourselves. However, comma, we are incredibly sensible. I ain't gonna use the word frugal because I'm not frugal, but we are very sensible with, in every sense of the word. Do you know, fun fact, my husband in his bathroom, because he can't pull the issue on me, my husband still uses like cheap toilet paper. He prefers it. I bring home that Charmin, that Angel Soft. He's like, miss me, miss me heavily. He So he has to go buy his own toilet paper. Cause I'm like, you're not putting that in my house, in my good bathrooms, in my, for my guests. What? But somebody come around here talking about she got cheap toilet paper. It ain't happening. Right, so he goes to Walgreens. Do you know Walgreens got 10 rolls of toilet paper for $5? Right. This some, this some stuff his mama done put him on and he said he can't get it out of his system. You know what I mean? And so we in a whole mansion. <clears throat> These are my woes, you have to hear my heart. We in a whole mansion and he got 10 for $5 toilet paper. What's that, 50 cent a piece? <gasps> okay, here's what my eight year olds are eating for breakfast. Um, part of it is gone. So I had Eggo waffles. What else did you have, Jackson? We have applesauce. Applesauce. And what else? Applesauce, uh, mandarins, sausage patty. Um, the waffles are usually the first to go and some milk. Why y'all stand up and eat and don't go sit at the um, table in the main kitchen? You just never thought about it, huh? <laughs> That's totally a table. Quick outfit of the day to drop the kids off at school. We have an Ava bag. Oh, what a fashion show. My pajamas, a Burberry coat, and my unicorn slippers. Back from dropping the kids off at school. I'm gonna get my day started. Um, I like a slow morning, you know? Just like a morning where you can ease into the day, 
You don't have to just be on like boom, 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 boom. So uh, today's a sparkle party day. And um, my first big thing is not until noon um, because I'm starting to batch my work now to create more open spaces for creativity and thought so that every single minute is not consumed with activity. So um, I'll grin and bear it for like a hard 24 hours so that I can have like 48 hours free. That's just that's just how I am. Um, so yeah, let's let's get it popping, get set up, and uh, ease into Friday. And this is the new Chrissy that's launching today. This has already done incredibly well in our VIP group, which uh, they get it first, our elite group. So I, you know, we just pray for her today as she releases. Um, I know that she's going to do extremely, extremely well, but we just hope that we stocked well enough that we don't piss anybody off as she sold out. <laughs> so we've been really trying to improve on that so that like a month later, two months later, if you see a girl walking down the street, you give her a compliment. She's like, oh, Sassy Jones, you can come back and count on the product being there. So that's one of the things that we pride ourselves on um, in terms of operational excellence this year in 2023. It's to just have the stuff stock. Like selling out is cute, but it really, you know, I, I feel like it just, it prohibits your money-making opportunity, you know? And then there are some things that you just cannot control that, I, you know, what can you do? We've been there also, so. So yeah, so this is the new poncho. So, yeah. And they are loving these also. Hello and welcome to Behind the Scenes of Sparkle Party Day. My name is Krista. I'm the marketing director here at Sassy Jones. And I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a few of the things that happen while Sparkle Party is going on. But before we do that, I'm just going to take you on a little website prep of how we switch over the website. The products are made available so that you can watch and shop all of the new arrivals during the Sparkle Party. All right, come along. So one of the things that I do is I pull up the website on the big screen so that um, I can make sure the new arrivals have landed. Website looks like this currently, but once this refreshes, okay, it's done. Okay, this is what the website looks like, like literally right now. You refresh. And voila, the website is updated so that when she goes live, all of the things are there for you guys to enjoy. All right, so this is Jasmine. And one of the things that she does is she watches Sparkle Party and she's the one that's adding the products to the collection. So you can shop and watch the Sparkle Party at the same time on the website. So Jasmine is making sure all the stuff Cherie shows is in the collection. All right, thank you, Jasmine. All right, so over here, I have the design team. So Miles. Amber and Amanda. Isn't it cool to see your design shown on YouTube and Facebook mm -hmm. and all the things? Miles, what's your favorite part of the Sparkle Party? Uh, seeing the customers interact in real time um, with Ooh. all the designs. Yes, yeah. I'm going to take you over to client experience so you can actually see who is commenting on Sparkle Party. Hey, Tasha. Hey, y'all. What is your favorite part of Sparkle Party? Reading all the wonderful comments. Reading I know, all the that's wonderful right. Comments. Yeah. So we use whatever device we need to use around here to make sure that all the ladies in the Queen's comments get responded to. I love that. This is the team that is commenting on a Sparkle Party. So when you see Sassy Jones, it's a whole bunch of people. So we have Ashley here. We have Delina and Taj. So they put the links. They put all of the things. We have Delina over here. 
she's making sure that we are responding to comments and all of the things. So yes. Booski, it's that time. Oh, yeah. That that time it is. That time, hold on, hold on, give okay, a second, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cause she's feeling expensive. She's feeling expensive. Girl, yes, uh-huh, it is the expensive.